Welcome to this video. I want to introduce you to quizzes.com. If you've ever played Kahoot in your class, quizzes is very similar, but in my opinion, much better. So real quick, let me get you introduced to it, show you what it looks like to your students, what it looks like to you as a teacher, uh, and it's you'll be going in a matter of seconds. You'll have a review game uh, and have your kids excited about learning. So when you go to the website, which is just quizzes.com, you just need to sign up. Likely one of your options is sign up with Google, which makes everything much simpler. No, no new passwords to remember. Um, I've already set mine up, so I'm going to log in with Google. Once you log in and it asks who you are, then you're ready to roll. You're here on the dashboard, and in two seconds you can have a quiz going. I'm going to search for a math quiz. Um, I'm going to say... Let's view this one. Now I can like it, which makes it easier for me to find later. I can also add it to a collection, which basically lets me hashtag them and then put them in different folders so that you can find things and be organized. I'm going to click on that quiz. I saw the option to like or add. Um, there are two different types of games, two different play modes. What I'm going to do right now is a live game. So if this is you're having a review game in class, it's review day, the test is tomorrow, you want all your students doing um, some review at this moment. So I will press live game. And there are tons of options to turn on or off. Um, the music is very dramatic but maybe annoying you could turn that off the shuffle questions is make something really interesting because this way your kids are all working but working at different on different items at different times so it's a little chaotic but good chaos but you could turn that off if you want something a little more structured i'm going to leave everything on at this moment and i'm going to proceed when i when you press proceed I'm going to turn off the music right there. Um, it will project this on the board for the students and give them a code. Once I enter that code, they're ready to play. I'll show you in split screen so you can see students and teachers views at the same time. A student very easily goes to join.quizzes.com. They can do this on their phone, on their iPad, anything with a browser. Um, there are apps for the iPad, but you don't need the app. You could do it in the browser just as easily. They enter their code. You'll notice the teacher over here can see who's who has entered. Oh, what's my name? As a teacher, you have the option to remove those players. And then the very interesting thing is the questions do not show up on the teacher's dashboard or on the projector. So when the teacher's ready to start, all the teacher um, view is showing is the leaderboard. So you get some nice animation. There's some great sounds too that I have turned off so you can hear you know, me instead. Um, but basically right now, all my three students, which are really just me, me, and me on my iPad, my phone, and my computer, um, all have different questions because I have set it to shuffle. The faster you answer, um, the more points you get. So even if you're correct, um, but you were correct slower, you get less points. And so over here, you'll see that the teacher just displays this. Um, it's always showing um, the leaderboard at all times. I'm, I'm clicking on three different devices, so don't judge me when I get one wrong. Um, and so it's very student paced. You may be th three questions ahead of someone else in your in your group. Um, but basically they're always kind of racing against each other. Time matters, um, correctness matters, and you have this great scoreboard going, which really gets them kind of into the action. Um, maybe sometimes too much into the action, but, uh, and the great thing is collecting all this data, it's playable on any device and your kids will love it. Um, I will show you here in just a second what it looks like when everything's said and done and what kind of data you receive as a teacher. Okay, I'm going to end the game here um, so I don't have to answer all those questions, um, but what we'll see here is on the board, we see who is in first place. Each student on their device gets all sorts of stats about their average time, their, their correctness. Um, they, can, they have an option to look at the questions that they missed personally right there on their device. That's huge. Over here on the teacher device, though, 
tons of information that you receive. Look at all this data. You can see question by question um, analysis color coded here. You can download it in Excel. You even can do a mail merge and email all the parents to tell them how their student did on review day. You have an option to look here at the questions um, sequentially and you also have an option to bring your class back together and scroll through the questions to discuss who missed what, um, what type of question was the hardest, it uh, gives you a great deal of options. It's fun and games, but it's also data that's driving your instruction right there in the browser, and you can you can be ready to play in just a couple of minutes. I know that you'll enjoy it, and I know that your students will enjoy it.